Unspoken Truth About Pests on U.S. Farm Report, brought to you by Duracade Viptera Trait Stacks, guarding against 16 above and below ground corn pests like mid-season threats of corn rootworm, earworm, and western bean cutworm. Comprehensive control when it matters most. If you're using no-till and adding more cover crops, there's a pest you may want to keep an eye on. Voles, also known as meadow or field mice, can eat through stands in a hurry. Indiana farmer Aaron Kruger is going all in on cover crops. Yeah, these are coming pretty good. But last year, that added cover, along with a mild winter, provided ample opportunity for small rodents called voles, or meadow mice, to dig into his fields. And after we had planted the beans, it became pretty evident as the beans were emerging, you would walk out there and you would see the stems and the cotyledons were basically just munched off. Typically, they'll see a few spots the size of a car hood. Last year, they replanted whole fields. Last year was the worst that I've, I've seen since I've been farming. You know, we were cooler in the spring and the beans just weren't growing as fast. And so they stayed at that stage that they could just go along the ground and munch them off pretty easily. Farm Journal field agronomist Ken Ferry says voles are common, especially as farms move away from heavy tillage. Once we move to cover crops inside of our no-till as well, that's when that problem can really explode. Missing stands, holes, and bare earth clearly visible from above are the telltale signs the problem needs attention. What causes a vole outbreak is habitat. And if we have a habitat for them to hide under so the predators can't get to them from the foxes to the hawks to whatever's out there that can feed on the vole, that's when the population explodes. Now on average, voles live three to six months, usually from March to October. Gestation is less than a month and females can have five to 10 litters per year. As Ferry says, just one can become 50 in no time. His advice, start clean. If there are voles in your no-till fields, he recommends getting them under control before moving to cover crops. Uh, that's the time to react. and You can put some bait stations out there to try to slow that down, but get them cleaned up before you transition into um, a cover crop program. Once we get into cover crops, they can explode like rats in a granary and they're hard to control at that point. You can't put that many bait stations out. If it gets out of hand, Ferry says he's seen farmers have to pull fields out of no-till and out of cover crops in order to catch up. But Aaron is trying something different. He's adding poles, perches, and nesting boxes to fields in order to encourage more natural control. Some poles, we just stuck a two by four across the top of them um, and kind of set them up to where they were 12 to 15 feet off the ground and place those strategically throughout the farm to help maybe break up some of the distances between, you know, the electric lines, the tree lines, just to, you know, better accommodate any birds of prey that might be flying around. Ferry also says using strip tillage in combination with those cover crops can help ease the problem. That tends to maybe open it up a little bit more, but we notice the vole issues drop uh, quite a bit with just the stripping in there. While voles are notorious for fluctuating populations, peaking every two to five years, Aaron is focused on long-term soil health and searching for ways to keep these pests in check during the growing season. You can read more unspoken truths about pests at agweb.com. Up next, John Phipps and customer support. Small dairies and robots. U.S. Farm Report is brought to you by Enzone from Farm Shop MFG, which allows you to rehydrate your soybeans from 10 to 13 percent on a 20,000 bushel bin. That's an extra semi-load added to your bottom line. Order your Enzone fan by August 15th and receive 13 percent off.